Please. Hey, what's up, Nunzio? Are you online? Yep. News you. Um, it is a warm day today. Hey, what's happening? What's going on? Welcome to the um, evening show with Jorge and El Nuzio. Uh, how many do we have online? Huh. It is a hot day today. Very hot. We are telling your followers that you're starting a live video. Hang on. Now yeah, there it is. What's up, Nunzio? Can you hear me? Hey, what's up, Nunzio? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? It was just, normally, I get like a little link from Instagram that uh, you're live. I can get that from there. Yeah, you know, it's interesting. I'm not sure how that works. Um, I didn't see it on my uh, notification either. So That's some strange. Yeah. So I'm not I'm not really sure how that works. But uh, well, now that you're online, um, but you you got to see the live feed. Only because I went to Dawson Splits and at first I didn't see it. Then when I asked you, that came back and there it was. Yeah. So how are you doing, man? How are you doing? Thank you for joining the I'm show. I'm doing. I'm doing. I have my guitar here. How, wh what are you up to? Um, how was the um, the band show last time? Oh, uh, I'm rehearsing for our performance this week. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Okay. Now, I forgot to ask you, um, what do you play? Are you the lead? I'm playing guitar. I'm playing lead guitar in the band. Oh, okay. So you're uh, one of the guitarists, or you are the guitarist? The guitarist. The only guitarist. The only guitarist. Yeah. Um, and how many um, 
uh, are in the band? How many how many members? There's, there's a female singer, and uh, there's two female singers, uh, a bass player, myself on the uh, guitar and a drummer. Okay. Now, um, we have a few uh, people that have joined the conversation. Um, if you can hear us, uh, if you can hear Nuzio or myself, just uh, do like a quick thumbs up so we know you are getting our audio. I know, Nuzio, you're getting my audio, so that's kind of good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all good. Yeah. I just think, though, you know, uh, a lot of the people that normally join us may not know that we're online. Yeah. You know, because they've not seen the link come through Instagram. Let me call them right here. Let me call everyone right here on my group cool. group text and just get everybody on. Hey, we're live. We're live on the show. We're live on uh, Dulce Picks. There. <laughs> so, uh, um, anyway, so you went to go and perform, right? Do your thing? Yeah. Yeah. How, how was yeah. it? I mean, everything was good. You got paid no, big time. We're, yeah, we're playing also, I think, at the Witches, the Iron Maiden. We're playing the Iron Maiden Thursday night. Now, where is that in relation to Hollywood? Parthenia, like, you know what Parthenia is? Is that in the valley? It's like near, it's near Northridge. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's like in Northridge. Parthenia, South Parthenia. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that next to that strip club that's uh um that has closed down? The body shop. The body shop, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's a naughty pit. Yeah. No, that's good yeah. those places are closing that's down. That's what I've yeah. Yeah. Um all right, well we'll, uh, we'll just give it a quick more minute for others to join the conversation and then um sure. we'll give away some stuff. Sounds like a plan. Man, I have hey, been... by the way, I'm wearing my Woodstock shirt. You said tonight was on dating, so I wore Woodstock. <laughs> nice. Oh, go, uh, go, uh, stand up a little bit so I can see that shirt. It's a little bit obstructed by. Oh, super cool! Film festival. Yeah. I got it from the Woodstock Film Festival. Okay. So it, yeah. is, it is. I think I got that at Sundance. You know, they were there. Yeah. So I met them all. So it's kind of fun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's so hot in here. I got a portable mm -hmm. fan. Um, that's blowing some air in here. Oh, this is a oh, cool wow. fan. Yeah, this place is going to get on here any day. What's that? We should get on here any day. Yeah. I, I hate to sleep with the windows open at night because it just brings me allergies. You know? It, it reads what? Allergies. Oh, you, you, um, you allergic? It just makes my nose run. Oh, uh, from the cats? No, from the uh, pollen in the air. Oh. There's pollen in Sorry. the air? Yeah, because it's springtime. Is it already springtime? I thought we're still in the winter. Ha uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like camera great joint. What's up, camera great? Camera great there? Yeah, probably. Okay. Uh, well, hey, uh, um, you ready to start, Nunzio? Whatever you are. Bum, bum, bum. Hey, I gotta put my hat. Um, I'm gonna turn off the hat for a minute. I love you. I got um, gotta put my hat on to officially start the show. Hello, everybody. This is the evening show with uh, Jorge and Nunzio. Hey, everyone. It's Nunzio here. Yeah, and Jorge and here. And hey, now. Here's Jorge. <laughs> now, this is, uh, this is my, my son, Nathan. Uh, doesn't he look like him? I found this guy yeah. online, and I'm like, man, that looks like my son. No, your son's good looking. He oh, like that. Oh, he he'd be like, oh, Uncle Nunzio, Uncle Nunzio, I, I I like you more now. I like your son. He's pretty cool. Yeah, he is. He is awesome. He's the next. Uh, um, he's the next uh, guest. Uh, he's gonna take over the show. <laughs> okay. So, anyways, um, you got any jokes for us, Nunzio? 
You know, do you want me to tell divorce jokes? A divorce joke? The divorce jokes? Yeah, sure. Have you heard of the new divorce Barbie? No, no, what Have is it? Have you heard of the new divorce Barbie? The new divorce Barbie? No, I haven't heard of the new divorce Barbie. She what about her? all the Ken stuff. <laughs> Did she file for divorce? She comes with all of Ken stuff. She comes all of, with all of Ken's stuff. I don't know. <laughs> you have you another joke? joke? I didn't get it. You didn't get the joke? No. People get divorced. They lose all their shit. Yeah. The divorce bar gets all the Ken stuff. Oh, you mean Ken, the guy, the Barbie Ken. Ken. The Ken doll, the Ken Barbie. You know, I haven't played with Barbies for so long, I forgot about Ken. Yeah, my sister did, so I can't tell you anything any about any anything other than that. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that's a good show. I that's a... a bunch of other jokes, but they're a little bit off color. Yeah, yeah. I I, I know some other I don't jokes. Know if we have to rate our audience, then you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, they're probably kind of like PG. Yeah, this is a PG thirteen show. Can we do a PG thirteen? This is PG thirteen show, right? Can we do that? Yeah. Okay. Anyone that's not PG-30 won't understand it anyway. <laughs> yeah. What's marriage and divorce have in common? What's marriage and divorce have in common? Yeah. They both end up in debt? At the beginning, there's a lot of sucking and blowing, and then you end up losing the house. <laughs> Actually, the joke is, what do marriage and tornadoes have in common? <laughs> I blew the opening. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, is, what does marriage and tornadoes have in common? Marriage and tornadoes have in common. Yeah, um, yeah. not sure. I just gave you the answer. In the beginning, there's a lot of sucking and blowing, and then you end up losing the house. <laughs> Wait, is that the one you just said earlier? No. That was Ken's, that was the Barbie joke. <laughs> no, well, well, anyways, all right, well, I, I, I think, I think it was a funny joke. I, I, I totally missed, I, I thought you said that joke just earlier, but, uh, um, I said, what, have you heard of the new divorce Barbie? Yeah, I heard that one right there. all of Ken's stuff. That was that one. Yeah, yeah, I heard of that one before. The next one. Yeah. What does marriage and divorce have in common? No, what does marriage and tornadoes have in common? Yeah, that's the one you just said earlier. Yes, that would be. I gave you that one. Yeah, the blown and the kissing, and they end up with not the house. Losing the house. <laughs> wow. There's this. Uh, um, there's this new funny guy that's out there that he just went on Netflix. I think he's called uh, Joey something. Um, okay. He's like a Filipino. He makes fun of uh, his Filipino mother. Um, and uh, hey, Minerva. Hi from Huntington Beach. Welcome. Thank you for joining the show. We're just kind of saying some few jokes for now, which um, we kind of suck at it. Um, <laughs> um, but hey, uh, yeah. I bought the house down with those jokes. Yeah, yeah. Nuzio bought the house with those jokes. Um, and then I lost it in the tornado. Yes, you did. <laughs> um, well, anyways, um, hey, thank you again. Uh, let's get, just get to the show. And uh, I know one of the things I wanted to talk about, Nuzio, you seem to um, really be in touch with um, with people that are super rich and uh, super wealthy. And uh, I know you're uh, incredibly wealthy yourself. And so uh, I'm just glad to have you on the show. And you can tell us a little bit about how you got rich and uh, how you know you 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 live the Hollywood life. And you're currently doing movies, and you're just a big time guy out there. Um, um, and uh, um, I think you're you're close to being a billionaire, so that's really that's exciting, good. right? And, and I want to be thankful to the show that did it all for me. <laughs> Ready Life. It's available right now. There's Jorge's going to leave the link in the description. But in, in Ready Life, I get to play Sancho. Also directed several episodes. Incredible series. If you haven't seen it. You've got to check it out. You totally have to check it out, man. Greedy Life. You know, I got the greatest news just uh, this past weekend. 
well, I wouldn't say the greatest news, but the greatest uh, 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 compliment, and they said, uh, I'm going to bench on Gritty Life this weekend. <laughs> there you go. That was amazing. I love it. I know, right? So uh, yeah. that was that was the best compliment. Uh, and then there's another one that says that somebody wanted to be like Sancho. They're like, how do I become like Sancho? And I'm like, just go watch a Greedy Life TV show. <laughs> just watch it. <laughs> because life imitates art. Yeah, yeah. Hey, anyways, before I lose some of you guys out there, um, I want to – I am not sponsored by Pepsi. I'm just uh, drinking Pepsi, but I'm not sponsored by Pepsi. Um, but I do like drinking it. Anyways, you know, I have a lot of stuff I want to give away today. Um, and so here's the thing. You're, you, you're listening. You're, you're watching the, uh, what we got going on today and the discussion about how do I get rich. Uh, well, I, we, you know, I like to give away stuff. So um, I'm giving away this. Um, this is called the Eye Massager. Now it's battery wow, operated. Great. Yeah, it's battery operated. Uh, it's pretty cool. So all you gotta do. I know that's great because I got one of those when I first came to Los Angeles because I worked such crazy hours. Yeah. My eyes were always tired, so I found one of those and I used to use it all the time. Oh, is that right? Yeah, it's great. It's a great thing to have. Do you still have it? I do somewhere. Uh, um. Oh, here we go. So uh, I like to give away stuff. So all you have to do to win something that I'm giving away, um, just make a comment and make sure to uh, make a comment and say, hey, I saw this. I'm going to take this eye massager home with me. I'll, I'll claim it. So you just got to make a comment to let us know that this is what you want or whatever it is that we show that you like. And it's completely free. Um, you can have it. It's all yours. If it costs more than more than uh, uh, twenty bucks uh, to ship it, um, usually I, I ask that you give me ten percent of it, and then you know I cover the rest. So, but if you happen to live nearby, then just come and get it and meet me, and I'll I'll send it to you. Um, so, and then uh, also I have a mystery box. We have mystery boxes. Just want to let you know that uh, um, if you ever ship anything, make sure you use Amazon, Amazon, and you're a Prime subscriber. So uh, just make sure that you are always using um, Amazon um, and don't go to Shopify or Walmart.com, which you never usually get those stuff from them. So, but I know Amazon, uh, you lose your thing, uh, your package, you always, almost for the most part, you always get it. Amazon has the best shit. Yeah. And I say that in a very good way. I'm going to be honest with you because um, – the thing I love about Amazon is they take anything back for 30 days, no questions asked. Yeah. I had a fire stick, which was no good. It didn't work, caught the issues. They took it back. I bought another one. It works great. So if you're thinking of getting some way to stream your, your media and you want to watch shows like The Terminator, which Jorge is actually doing a poster of right now, if you want to see that stuff about artificial intelligence, you know, you, could, you know, use the fire stick. And I'm using the fire stick. I'm going to show you the one I'm using. Hold on. Now, this is the eye massager I'm giving away. Um, this is worth, I think, 50 bucks or so. So um, you can have this if you like. Um, just remember remember to make a comment and uh, let us know. I'm just going to show you being that uh, for Amazon, there's two different fire sticks. There's regular 1080. There's this one here, which is 4K. And then this one here. Which is uh, the 4K Max? Yeah, it's got a, it's got like twice the power of a regular Fire Stick, so it's faster. It's got more memory, and really see a difference on my non 4K TV. So, good wait, Fire Stick, they really work. Wait, so you you it makes your 2K become in the 4K TV? No, but I could bring it in in 4K, and believe it or not, I see a difference on my regular 2K TV. Wow. That it really does look better than the standard one. People say, oh, there's no difference if you don't have a, a 4K TV. But I don't want to throw out my 4K TV because it means something. My, my regular 1080 TV, it works fine, and I, it, I've i had it for 10 years, and it means something to me, so I keep it. Yeah, cool. That reason dump it. Uh, the other stuff that um, – now, I love this. Um, this is a really cool – uh, called the Tapo Enhanced Color Night Vision. 
uh, smart AI detection and notification. This is a, a camera that um, you can put on your in front of your uh, house, uh, your vehicle. It's completely battery operated, uh, cordless. So, anyways, um, what's that for? That camera? Why do you put it on your vehicle to record when you're away, parked, in case somebody hits you? Yeah, whatever. Record anything. Record uh, people having sex in the back of your car. Who knows? If that's your thing, yeah. Now, this is really cool. Um, this is a wireless HC transmitter. This is an HDMI wireless transmitter plug and play. So, I, I, I love these things because, like right now, um, if you have a projector that's uh, downstairs and you want to watch it upstairs, you put one of these HDMI uh, adapters and it sends that audio and video wirelessly. So that's, that's cool. Who's that made by? Um, Lemorel. Oh, cool. All right. Now, you know, here's... We were watching... When we were watching the movie that time, I could have put that in the computer and sent it right to the TV. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You, or like if you're editing. If you're editing yeah. and you have a, a, a TV that has HDMI out and plug it into another HDMI in, bang. Uh, now, I have this too. This is the um, a 10-meter LED rope light. Um, oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, it, it, it lights up at night. Now, um, it's both indoor and outdoor. And it connects up to 280 feet. Oh my God, that is a lot of feet. Anyway, so uh, wow. uh, this is what I'm giving away. Um, so I'm gonna put this stuff back over here. And is Jonathan uh, still watching? Is camera Jonathan grade? With us? Yeah, camera no. grade. Are you still Are you still watching? Because that looks like uh, that rope light looks like it would be a beautiful way to do soft light. On a, on an actor's face. Yeah, yeah, it could come in handy. Also, I uh, uh, this um, a fan. If you like this fan, um, let me know, and you can also have it. So, um, a mystery box. I have a mystery box right here. Um, I like to give away a mystery box, um, and uh, every uh, every time you join the show. At the beginning of the show, you got to stick around to the very end of the show um, to receive the mystery box. So here's one of them, and uh, here's here's another one. It could also be a mystery bag, right? Mystery bag. So I'm giving two mystery bags. Uh, what's what else is in here? Um, I don't know where my other mystery bag is. All right. Well, for now, it's just two mystery bags. Mystery boxes. Uh, we'll go mystery box number one and mystery bag. So um, all you got to do is uh, uh, to win something like that, just make a comment and uh, tell us what you think about the show and uh, tell us, uh, just tell us which uh, gift you, you would like to take home or whatever you like. <laughs> Any of the mystery boxes you get at the very end. So anyways, um, so tell us, uh, Nuzio, how 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 do you how did you get rich? How how, how do I be? How can I be rich, Nuzio? I'm just I'm I'm tired of being poor. I'm tired of of, of using my five credit cards to cover my lunch and my burrito over at Pancho's. How do I become rich? If you want to know the real solution, that answer, the real answer, yeah, is that you can't live on your credit cards. <laughs> That's the real answer. All right, so I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much, I, I won't get rich. <laughs> You're pretty much as well. But, see, banks have a way of sucking you in. They say, oh, you're going to have this credit, you got $10,000 worth of credit. But the next thing you know, the Federal Reserve starts raising interest rates. And right now, their, their credit cards are charging 30%. People don't realize it. It's just like it's usury rates. Yeah. It's literally criminal that they do this to people. Yeah. But when you spend money, you know, nobody counts on really not being able to pay it off. 
Yeah. But we live in a society of credit card debt. If we didn't have credit cards, we'd be in a depression. Yeah. People buy their food with credit cards, everything. Yeah. So the real answer is to pay off your credit card every month. Now but it's not always possible. Yeah, yeah. Once again, at the beginning of the uh, of this whole show, I introduced Nuzio, and uh, a reason Nuzio is on 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 this episode, is apart from every episode that you've been on since we first started. Thank you very much, Nuzio, because of your excellence, knowledge, and everything. But really, because you're rich, and and uh, you, you know you make a lot of money acting, uh, directing, uh, doing grunt work, or whatever it is that you do out there, custodian work. I don't know, Wolverine. Grubhub, whatever. Hey, yeah. Watch the things. Yeah, yeah. So um, I think it'd be great for you to share your. Um... Anyway, so Nuzio is here sharing his time, giving his, giving out of his time to show us how to become rich. So well, um, if you really want the real answer, that's all the financial wizards say: live within your means. And if that's the only way to acquire wealth, is to live within your means and try to save something. So. Again, it's like if you want to use a credit card, it's great to build credit. Yeah. But the real thing you should be doing, okay, and many people can't do this, but you really should pay it off every month at the end of the month. Yeah. And just pay off that credit card debt. And the next thing is it's like just have some kind of plan about what it is that you plan on doing. It's hard if you're an entertainer because you don't know when money's coming in and money's coming out. So the other way to look at it is just take jobs that become available. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, you know, um, just take the job that, that you know, that if, it's, if you're a creative person, hey, I also edit. I have a client that asked me to edit, and I edit for her. She's a director. Yeah. So I'm also a director. I'm also an actor. You know, yeah. I'm a singer. Somebody offered me a job playing in a band. This week I'm playing in a band. Yeah. Yeah. Now, if, if it's okay to talk a little bit about um, your family business, is there, uh, would you like to share a little bit about, if, if, if it's possible, if not, it's okay, I understand, um, how your you saw your family grow in the business and just make that happen, right? Um, um, you, you have a, your family background is in business and uh, you had a deli, uh, you know, you come from a, a family of delis, right? Um, oh, the deli business. I thought you were talking about the you kill and we chill. <laughs> yeah, that's the other side of the business. <laughs> that's where you use the deep freezer. <laughs> Part of the deli. Yeah, yeah. It's a walking walk cooler. It's a walking cooler. I like that. Yeah, where Rocky, uh, yeah, where Rocky was punching those cows inside the cooler. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dang. Watch out, bro. Don't hurt yourself now. Dang, you look pretty You look pretty buff right there. Is that the Sancho moves? <laughs> Yeah, I first learned that playing Joe and Heaven Can Wait, the fight. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, it's, uh, would you like to share about uh, maybe a few things you learned from uh, your, your yeah, father? Yeah, if you're going into business, if, if, being, if there's people that are really interested in starting your own business and going into business, you, you have to understand that most businesses don't make money for two years. So, you have to understand that. So, you have to be able to survive on your own without pulling a paycheck for two years. And if you're willing to do that and you love that business enough, then it's worth going into business. And if you are going to go into business, the last thing you want to do is go buy new equipment. Go buy the best used equipment you can. In the deli business, my dad used to buy used deli cases. He used refrigerated cases. He used walk-in cooler. He used air conditioner. He always bought used stuff. Because the new stuff just overnight, it's, it's, the value just disappears. Yeah. So... Get the best deals you can. Get the best deal you can for rent in an area that really is going to support your business. Yeah. Don't move into an area where nobody's interested. If you sell corned beef and salami, don't move into an area of town that everybody hates corned beef and salami. Yeah. No. You really have to go around and find an area that really works for your business. Yeah. Uh, now, why did your uh, uh, was it your father that started it or your grandfather? My father. So he started the business. Why did he start the business at the location that um, was at? Well, part of it's personal because they moved to Miami because my older cousin had rheumatic fever. Mm -hmm. My dad was really 
a partner in the deli in Cleveland. Yeah. But he had to move because, you know, his sister's daughter had met a fever. They thought she'd die and he didn't want her to have to come down alone and then be alone moving to a strange town. Um, so they moved to Miami. And um, so that's why he started a, a deli in Miami. Yeah. I mean, my at first went to work for the Rascal House, uh, which was owned by Wolf D. Cohen, which Jerry's Deli had bought out not too long ago, but I think Jerry's ran it into the ground. Yeah. I think Jerry's was gone now. But anyway, um, so circumstance really choose what you're going to do. And they went into a deli that was really not doing much. And um, it was a storefront that had some showcases. And they figured, okay, we want to start our own business. My dad did it with my uncle. Yeah. Now, what are some of the uh, few things that you learn on a day-to-day -day, um, from your father uh, leading, um, growing the business? Well, you know, my dad taught me to be responsible when I was young. So he gave me guitar lessons when I was five, but I didn't practice very much. I was like, they're free. Daddy's paying for them, you know? Mm -hmm. So he uh, took me to work, and he made me like the manager of his bakery department. I used to stack bagels, soft rolls, casual rolls, all kinds of rolls. Yeah. And he said to me, you're now paying for your own guitar lessons. I said, I'm going to give you... So he gave me money to pay for my own guitar lessons, and I started practicing. But until it became something that I had to spend out of my own pocket, it was just like waste money. But at one point, it was like, oh, this is real, and I really want to learn the guitar, so I'm going to pay to learn the guitar. But so I really learned the value of money as a, as a child. You know, I learned to be responsible because of that. And it which helps you know, in the film industry is like you make up money on a movie, it may be a lot of money, but that you have to understand that's not what you're making every day. You just say that money I put it in the bank, now draw on it as I need it. Now but, how how much money did you earn on uh, what was the highest that you've earned on a movie or TV show? Uh, seven thousand a week, I think. Oh, okay. For the whole project, how much did you win? How much you earn? Probably like hundred fifty thousand. Hundred fifty thousand for a, a movie? It was actually on a series for like six months. Yeah, it was on a TV show for like over a six month period, from when I started to when I finished. Okay. Um, now is that pretty? Uh, is that pretty normal for a working actor to make? Or, or is uh, that? Is that a lot? Is that a little? No, that's, that's kind of like a lot of money. But um, most of, uh, yeah, if you're working on a series, you'll make a lot more money. If you're like today, if you're working on a series and you got a series regular job, and that's what you are, you're going to make more money. Yeah. I mean, you know, you know, people be making, I don't know. I don't know. It depends on your contract. Yeah. You know, there's minimum sack scale, which is probably around $5,000 a week. So, if you figure if you did twenty episodes, that's a hundred thousand. Yeah. Now, one of the uh, questions I wanted to ask prior to jumping on, on jumping onto this topic was, um, and forgive me for some of the words, my grammar is pretty bad. <laughs> so you're doing I, good, Jorge. Yeah, yeah. I combine my ons and ends and twos and with blah blah blah. So it's hard to keep up, man. Anyway, so uh, one of the questions that I, I wanted to ask is, or say, and you could agree with me or not, uh, or if you're watching and you, uh, you know, make a comment and see if you disagree with it or not. But being rich, to me personally, I don't necessarily think that you must have, must make a million dollars or must have five homes or must have, you know, all this amount, amount store in the bank. Or in your backyard. I think personally, for me, being rich is, is having more than what you made last year, you know, or that you need. So, 
you know, uh, uh, for example, you know, if I earn say a hundred thousand dollars last year and I, you know, and I made $200,000 this year, then I feel personally that I am rich, you know, maybe I'm not like super rich or the biggest rich, but I think it's fair to say, for, I mean, I mean, for me at least that I'm rich because I have more money than, than I need. And I have more money than I made last year. What do you think? What I are agree. your thoughts about how do you, how do you classify totally someone agree. being rich? Are you still there? Oh, did I lose you there for a minute? Oh, uh, looks like your um, um, your Wi-Fi is a little slow. Well, anyways, as uh, um, as Newsy comes back online, uh, what is your definition of being rich? Um, what is the definition of somebody being rich? So uh, um, again, I gave my definition of what it means to be rich. Uh, me personally is just having more money than than I need and or having more money than what I made last year. So um, anyway, share your comments, share your thoughts, um, and tell me uh, uh, your, your opinions. Uh, we'll, we'll get back with Nuzio. I think Nuzio is trying to reconnect. Um, and then you can ask that comment. Um, what's going on, Mini? Mini Amazing. Does he help others make money or be in a better place? Yeah, I think uh, sometimes he does both. Um, well, anyways, uh, what are your thoughts about uh, being rich? Any um, any other thoughts? It uh, looks like uh, Nunzio is trying to get back in. Um, let me try to accept his... Uh, All right, Nuzio, are you still there? Um, I know you're trying to join. Let me see if I can uh, bring you back in. Uh, we'll be right back. We're having some technical difficulties. So we'll be right back as soon I as, think, uh, as, soon I'm as back we can hear me. Oh, hey, you're back. All right, all right. Hey, Minnie, I totally agree with you. I got to read your comment. I mean, it's just about really your friends and your family and life and your life. And so it's not about having a Lamborghini in the driveway. <laughs> that, you know, it's not your ash one. That doesn't make anyone rich. To a quality of life that you share with your friends and family. I really like that. I like that. Um, oh, so uh, I, I think I, uh, uh, I'm not sure what happened, but glad to have you back. I think that was our uh, intermission moment. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, I got somebody tried calling me, but that happened because it just, I don't understand. I don't know how to keep that from booting me away. You know, maybe if I next time don't hit an end or something, and just let it keep ringing. Maybe see what happens. Yeah, who knows? Ignore call and <laughs> do not disturb. If I do not disturb, I don't think we can do this show. I don't understand. Yeah, yeah. I maybe. need to call Apple and ask him how to do this. That's what I have to do. Yeah, you know, I think. I'll call it, Apple, see what do I do? You can just swipe. Just swipe with the phone rings? Yeah. Because you know you get that notification right here? Mm -hmm. And then just just swipe away? I'll try that. Because even if I'm doing this on the computer, yeah. the phone rings, it does the same thing. 
Oh, I see. So you you want to finish your thought? Um. Yeah, I was. I mean, I totally agree with you. I mean, money is a tool, and money allows us to do the things we want to do. Um, but having money and not having friends or relationships is not is not a good thing. I mean, because money comes and goes, and then when you don't have the money, you don't you don't have any friends. If that's what your friendship was based on. Yeah, no, I remember. Yeah, that that happened to me actually, news you, and I'm glad you bring that up. When I became rich, um, I had a lot of friends um, that I didn't know I had, and so I value those friendships because they loved me for my money, and uh, it was hard to replace them because you know they loved me for the money and uh, they just showed me love. But then, uh, then I stopped being rich, and then I got my poor friends back. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that joke. Those were your, those were your, those are your true friends. Yeah, thank you, Nizio. Yeah. The friends that are with you when you don't have money are your real friends. Thank you for the helping me. That, yeah. No, nothing. The friends that are with you when you have money are not real friends. Yeah, usually your poor friends are your real friends. Well, just, I'm a poor friend. I'm poor. I'm, you know, I'm poor. I'm poor, so I'm a good friend. <laughs> no, no, you know, there's a lesson that you know, friendship should be based on money, but many times it is. Well, when it comes to going to uh, uh, Pancho's Mexican restaurant and you have to pay for your friend not only twice but three times because they're broke and all they're doing is eating chips away because they don't have any money to afford a burrito. Come on. Has that ever happened to you? Uh, yeah, I know what you're saying. I I get it. <laughs> but you know what? So uh, money is important in that you're moment. A, you're in a Mexican restaurant. They got great chips and salsa. That's like a meal. <laughs> I mean, you know, not all Mexican restaurants give you great chips and salsa. Yeah, yeah. No, that's true. Well, hey, uh, anyways, getting back to uh, gifts. Is there anybody out there wants stuff? I, I haven't seen anybody make a comment about which gift are you going to take home with you or you're going to have. Like, what's going on? Nobody wants free stuff? Seriously? What's going on? No one driving in for anything? <laughs> no. Nobody wants any, any, any gifts. Seriously, these are free. I wonder if they're thinking, well, the shipping and handling is not free. <laughs> yeah, they don't want to pay the shipping and handling. <laughs> well, come on, it's it's not like that expensive. What is it, like two bucks, three bucks to mail? Yeah. What is that one again? Oh, this is the uh this is a wireless HDMI oh, transmitter uh, kit. Wait, Minnie is asking about the video camera. Is that for security? I think so. Why don't you pull that out? Yeah, this is um, this is worth one hundred and fifty dollars, um, and is uh, do you see it right there? Yeah. So, the, the turn it over. Wait, turn it over. I think. So this is a two K HD crystal um, camera, security camera by Tapo. It's got a hundred eighty day battery life. Full color night vision. This is my favorite part. Smart AI detection and notification. So Nunzio, if you happen to walk around a Mini's house and um, and and she's got this camera on, this camera will alert Mini that you are stalking her, and it will provide your name. Your date of birth, your social security number, your bank account. How's it going to store that? <laughs> bank account. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it will just alert, alert uh, who it is. So um, this is kind of so cool. It's a security camera, right? Yes, yeah, a security camera, but it notifies you. Do you do that at your house or just on your car? No, it's completely portable. So you can put it anywhere house, car, uh, on your back, helmet. Bike, yeah. So, anyways, this is this is that one. 
It's a cool thing. Oh, I like it. This is my. This is a really good. And it works with Amazon Alexa. Oh, cool. And it works with Hey Google. Be one of the cameras. We got a winner. Ding, 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 ding. Mini Maisie. All right. I'm going to put this aside for Mini. This belongs to her. Uh, we still have the uh, eye massager. Okay. We still have that. Maybe that would be, be good for Jonathan because he's a cameraman. Yeah, yeah, that may be good. Hey, uh, always took me through the lens. What do you think about this, Jonathan? Do you need an eye massager? It massages your eyes. Um, it massage around, and it yeah. puts pressure. Oh, it also says hot compress. It's also hot compress. Yeah. That's um, interesting. LED lights. I thought Jonathan might like those also, so he could like put them on a board and light people with them. It's very pretty soft light. Yeah. You know, and, you can get like a four by four piece of wood. Or I don't know how much you can use that on. Maybe you use a two by two piece of wood and go up and down the wood. Yeah. And just make a soft light with it. Anyway, so it looked pretty bright. It looks like they could be very bright. And then the mystery box in the back. Uh, see what else? Anybody oh, else want some there. free stuff? Anybody Peter. else want some free stuff? Peter, Peter, my friend, he's there. All right, I, I have to make a comment here. Anyone else wants a gift? Oh, wait. I misspell it. Um, hey, anyways, uh, are you are you do you know uh, Jordan Welsh? No. So Jordan Welsh is a young twenty five year old entrepreneur, and if you go to his YouTube page, um, you will see a lot of his videos um, and how to. Uh, how he made it through life as an entrepreneur. Uh, it's a very interesting life. Uh, very interesting videos. How did he make it as what? Huh? How did he made it as what? What did he do? He's got a he's got a video right now that has over five hundred eighty thousand views. But he says how he went from making thirty thousand to six million dollars a year. I'm guessing. Um, I, did you watch it? Did he rob anyone? I'm only kidding. <laughs> I don't know. I'll tell you how he did it. He sold these videos to people, and everybody subscribed. And that's probably how he made the money. I don't know. You see so many of those, and I'm not going to say anything negative about any of them. But you wonder if they make so much money, why are they putting out these videos, teaching you how to do the things that they're making the money with? Why don't they just devote their time to making the money? Well, it's interesting because he's not selling anything, um, and I've checked a few of his videos, and he doesn't sell anything. Uh, now, he, he, he does promote uh, a few businesses, um, but I went back to his very first video, and he, um, you know, he started selling kind of like what I did um, back in the days, uh, even before YouTube. Uh, but he started selling shirts, and you know he will print things on shirts, uh, like his name brand or whatever he wanted to, you know, whatever his his brand name was back then, something retro clothing, something like that. Right. Uh, but he talks about how he failed at that. Uh, he sold a few shirts, but uh, he kind of failed. So, anyways, he, this latest video that he put out, how he went from making thirty thousand to six million, uh, he just kind of documents, um, you know, what he's done over the last five, six years, um, and and so he doesn't sell anything. Again, he just kind of uh, uh, talks about his journey as an entrepreneur. Now, um, you know, you and myself, you know, we're both entrepreneurs and you're in the uh, film business and I'm in the podcast business. 
and now through Amazon business, um, you know, I think we, we want to share some of the positives and, and some of the things that we've learned. And, you know, we, uh, I guess what made us not rich, but what made us benefit from these things that we do, right? And we like to share them with people out there. Well, what a lot of people do is they have like a little eBay business, which now you can actually make like an Amazon business and get your own storefront. But eBay only charges you, I think, 11% between the money that you collect and the charge for the actual uh, item that you're selling it comes out to around 11%, I think. I don't know the exact number, but you know, I put a few things up there and uh, I'm not putting anything up that's really cheap. Like I got seat covers I put on my car, I put them on there. But they're probably half of they would cost new, but they'll just sit there. I sold a piece of Ricardo luggage um, that was probably listed for three something. I sold it for like two and a quarter. Somebody, believe it or not, paid one hundred and sixty dollars to have it shipped to her. So, <laughs> and she has paid four hundred dollars for this piece of Ricardo luggage. Ricardo luggage. Um, so you could. Uh, there are a lot of places that you can go and buy stuff really cheap, and it's to create your own storefront. Yeah, and that's pretty much what Jordan Wells did. Um, he got super famous. Uh, because he was reselling uh, sneakers, um, and he would buy these $100 sneakers, and some of them were, you know, name brand like Jordans and whatnot, and he would sell them for, you know, sometimes double the price or twice the, you know, the price. So he got super famous because of that. But then he goes into saying how, you know, how he also failed through that, although it started being a good business, but he also failed. So now he's doing, I think he's doing something that's called um, drop shipping. Exactly. See, that's the real key, is if you can buy something really cheap and have them send it, this is how Amazon really got started. If you can buy something really cheap and they never send it to you, but you tell them where to ship it, or your customers. So you get your customer to buy from you and you have that company ship it to your customer. That way your customer never knows where you got it from and it's just drop shipped. Like remember when Amazon got started they would sell books and they weren't warehousing all those books at the beginning. They would just have them shipped directly. So it was a uh, book selling a uh, company at first, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Amazon started off selling books. So drop shipping, your definition, what you just said, I, I mean, I don't know if it's an official um, official uh, documentation of, of what drop shipping means, but if I was a company or say I built a cup, right and i want to sell it to everybody out there to the world i can just go or i will go to am through amazon and then amazon will just advertise it and get it and ship it is that no not really it doesn't work quite like that but suppose you have that cup and you want to sell it you could have an amazon storefront you know where you sell things through amazon you can list the name of the product. And everybody's talking about artificial intelligence today. But actually, this has been in the works for years. So because of the things you would say about that cup in your description, the search engine within Amazon or Google, et cetera, et cetera, well, when you search, put in specific uh, details, you may want, I want a stainless steel yellow cup. And you may search stainless steel yellow cup. And if you have a brand, you can put the brand in. And then you can put that in the search engine, and it will find all cups, which are stainless steel and yellow, and others on top of it. So then people will look and say, oh, there's that cup. I want that cup. Now, Amazon isn't having that company bring it to them first. That company, uh, they're basically, you place the order, and they place send a link, uh, an order to that company. 
that you place that order, okay? And that company fulfills it, and they send it to you. Now, sometimes Amazon may go ahead and buy things directly, but that's not drop shipping. Drop shipping is when you place the order through Amazon, Amazon notifies the manufacturer or the person selling it, and that person sends it to you directly. That's a drop shipping. Well, that company sells it directly to the buyer or to Amazon? No, Amazon. You're buying it through Amazon. But Amazon has it because the company must get it on the Amazon site. So it's being drop shipped. Even though you bought it from Amazon, it's being drop shipped by that company. So the company is directly mailing these things, not going through Amazon, yeah. then Amazon. If it's a true drop ship, it doesn't go to Amazon first. So why yeah, not? Why not just a huh? company mail it out? They do without Amazon because nobody knows them. But if you go on the Amazon search engine, every, then you are known because of Amazon's search yeah, engine. Yeah, because suppose suppose that's made by um, some company you never heard of in your life. Say that's made by Yellow Dinosaur. And you want and they want to sell cups. But nobody ever heard of yellow dinosaur. So it's like, how would they sell that cup? They put it on Amazon. Yeah. Well, anyway, that's good info. So that's how this guy does it now. Um uh he uh drops ships, but um anyways, but he um You know, like there's a lot of companies out there that have these different sites like Wish. And they get stuff directly from China. I'll give you an example. Hold on. All right. We are talking about Joe Coey. I've got these AirPod Pros that I bought off of uh, Five Miles. Okay. I thought they were real Amazon, that they were real apples. Apple told me that they're counterfeit. But they came from China. They look almost real. They look identical. Can you hear me? Yeah, they look almost identical. Yeah, they look exactly like it. They came in a box with an Apple serial number, but they use that same serial number on probably all of them. But, and I listened to them, and they're great. I think I paid $35 for them. And I think they retail for they retail for two fifty. Now, just pretend these were real, but there are companies that have all these different things that you could buy and you could sell to your customers. That's what this company did. Mm -hmm. This company found them. Some some company in China is counterfeiting the real AirPods. This is what they're doing. There's another company found them and they're drop shipping them, and they're they're being shipped right out of China. And that's legal, right? Unfortunately, it is, but people do it all the time. Like, I saw some lights that I wanted to get. I'm thinking of buying. They have one like it for $65. It has like two heads, backdrops, stands, everything. Where are you going to find that price? Yeah, yeah, totally. You know what I mean? Or you might find a hair dryer that costs one third of what you're going to find it for. Locally in the U.S., and somebody in China is making it. People they counterfeit this stuff constantly, so they're just doing knockoff. Is what they're doing. That's what this company is. And if you read the fine details, they go not genuine. But you got to read so many details to ever get to not genuine. <laughs> but they, yeah, yeah. Well, um, looks like we're running out of time. Uh, we have reached our 60 minute allowance um, and uh, I don't have a um, I don't have anything else to say but is there anything else that you want to say about uh, 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 what others can do to become rich it's just all about money management and it's really a question of okay do I really have to go and buy that four dollar latte today or can I make one at home and take the rest of that money and save. Yeah, I don't know. That's really what it. That's really what it's about. So 
I mean, and if you're going to go buy that $4 latte, why not find a deal? Like, you know, Subway has a deal, buy one, get one free. Yeah. So why go pay for two footlongs when you can buy one and get one for free? I don't, you could just search, like, Subway coupons. Or you could search for any name brand coupons. Get yeah. a coupon and take that other money and save it. Well, um, thanks again, Nuzio. Um, cheers to you. And uh, congratulations on your popular TV show, uh, uh, Greedy Life. Um, and uh, I heard that you did an amazing job as you played uh, uh, Sancho, the drug, the ruthless drug lord. Um, so great. Congratulations again. And uh, um, I can't wait to see the show. Me too. <laughs> well, uh, before we leave, um, uh, looks like uh, we have the uh, we have the. Um, Is there anybody in there? If anybody wants the mystery gift, send us a note right now. Just put a comment in there. Right, that way, you know you're really with us, and you're not just joined and walked off and went outside and had a margarita. Yeah. Hey, Margarita wouldn't be bad. Well, um, doesn't look like we have um, anybody that wants to claim the mystery uh, gift. So, looks like you get to claim one, Nunzio, because you were you were w with the show at the beginning and at the end. Okay. Um, what about the box? You want what's inside this box? Sure. You don't want what's inside here? No, I want what's in the box. Are you sure? I'm sure. Look, man, it's it's a nice bag. You never know what's in here. I know. It looks really cool, too. What if you regret it from the last time, remember? I remember the last time I regret <laughs> Last time was a big box. The thing that I, last time I should have taken the mystery gift, I should have taken something that was open. <laughs> yeah, but it was in a similar box, remember? Oh, yeah. Are we saying that it could be another bath mat? Shake that thing up. Let me hear it. Shake it. It sounds like there's something in there. <laughs> it sounds like something hard. Well, let me drop it. Oh! <laughs> so, all right. So, you, you sure you want the, what's inside this box? I think so. Seriously, because I have to go with the gut feeling. All right, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Which one news you? We'll go for. I think you ended up on the on the box. Oh, is this where my finger ended it? All right, you decided, not me. Oh, and, yeah. And next week with somebody together, we'll have to see what it was. Yeah, we'll have to see what it was. Hey, anyways, um, at the beginning you were making, we were making a joke, and then you were talking about sucking and um, and blowing, and the house yeah. is not there. You got to listen to this guy, uh, uh, Joe Coy. You, you heard of Joe Coy? Joe who? Joe Coy. No. Um, he's a Filipino, uh, well, he's an American Filipino comedian um, that just got, you know, a bit popular. And um, one of his shows, is, I think two of his shows is, uh, is on Netflix now. Uh, but he talks, he, one of his show was about, um, one joke was about, um, when you, if you have sleep apnea, uh, and those <laughs> that suffer through sleep apnea, is that um, because he does, he suffers from sleep apnea, right? But basically, uh, it's not that you're suffering from sleep apnea, but what's happening is there's a ghost who is inserting his penis into your mouth. That's what he's saying. So you're actually sucking on a ghost penis. Okay. <laughs> if you say so. Now you got to take that joke out. I mean, uh, uh, it's just hilarious. I thought it was kind of funny. Um, right. Anyway, so, um, all right, well, let's check it out. Tell me what it is. Uh, one last time. You sure you want this? Sure. All right. Let's see. what. How do you open this anyways? Before you open it, I'm just curious, you know that video transmitter? Do you need an HDMI out to use it? Yeah. 
Yeah, you do. How does that work? So it won't work on my computer then because I don't have HDMI out. Uh, yeah, it's got an it's got an out and an in. It, what is the out? What kind of the out? The one that comes out of something. What's the device? Yeah, the, HDMI. They both look similar. Yeah. Yeah, that won't work. Yeah, okay. they're both HDMI. But you, you can yeah, convert. I don't, have, I don't have HDMI. You can convert the HDMI to uh, like if you have an RCA or if you have older, you know, video jacks. Right. Yeah, but you do need an out. Well, wait a minute. You know what? HDMI's, I just completely forgot. HDMI's on televisions and uh, computers, a lot of them, like this laptop, it has HDMI out. It works for both, in and out. My laptop doesn't have HDMI out. It does? No. But it does have an HDMI? No. Oh, it doesn't have any HDMI in it. Does it have any no, USBs? None of my computers do. Do you have a USB? And, you know, and my editing computer doesn't. Um, the editing computer uh, is not going to have an adapter that's going to work. I know this. You know what you need? You need something like yeah. this. It's a uh, it's a US, USB to HDMI. So it converts your, H, your USB to HDMI. Right, that would work out of the laptop, but I don't think it would work out of the computer because it has to come out of the video output. And now the uh, that computer, uh, my editing computer, uses uh, like DVI or something like that. Yeah. All right. Well, um, you sure you want to go with it? Let's this? figure out what it is. Yeah. I'm just stoked to figure out what's inside. I don't want to break it. We'll be finding out if we're going to be gifted next week. Oh wow! I think I think today is your lucky day. Really? Wow! 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 Is it a pink dress? <laughs> sure. It's something. Um. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I'm, I'm giving you a la I'm giving you a last chance to back out. I have to see what it is. I don't care if I leave it with you. I have to see what it is. <laughs> and and swap it out for this. For what? The other mystery bag. Yeah. Right. Now let's see what it is. It says, "All right, I'll give you a brief description." LED. LED. That's interesting. Six blades. Six blades or six flakes? Six blades. Is that a fan? <laughs> wow, look at you. What is it? I don't have any clue what that means. I can't see. So small. Oh, turn it over. Oh, blender. Wait, a blender? It's a portable blender. <laughs> and, what, and then what do you do with it? Congratulations. Congratulations, Ninja. You just, uh, now you can make your smoothies on the go. Wow. I think that, yeah, this is, look at that. Is it electric or a battery operated? It's a portable blender. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's got a um, battery operated. Look. Wow. It's interesting. Yeah, now you can blend your espressos. Hey, it's not bad. This is kind of cool. No. Yeah. It's green. I don't even own a blender. <laughs> At all. There you go. Now you uh, now you own one. Now I own my first blender. Oh, this is pretty cool. You can also do it like this too. All right. Well, congratulations, Nizio. You um, did you think you made the right choice? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's in the other bag, so I never know.
<laughs> All right. So, uh, well, this is your blender. Congratulations. And, uh, Thanks. All righty then. Well, I, um, uh, hey, thanks again for, um, for, uh, uh, sure. Sharing and your we'll thoughts. Be back in two weeks. Yeah, we'll be back in two weeks. Um, tomorrow. We'll give, huh? Are we going to give away that bag in two weeks? Yeah. We have to give it away. I have, I'm looking forward to finding out what's in that bag in two weeks. I know. It's bummed out that, uh, that nobody stuck around. Well, the very end to claim this one. It almost feels like there's, it's very cushiony. Well, we'll find out in two weeks, but that is a mystery gift. Yeah. All righty, my friend. Hey, it's Gary seeing you. Um, Good we'll, seeing you too, okay? Yeah, we will see you on the next podcast. Yep. And... <laughs> Regarding that other thing we were discussing, uh, let's talk about it this weekend, and I'll get you that clip. You're on, okay. my friend. All right, watch. Hey, hey, be greedy. Watch greedy. Greedy live. Greedy live TV show. All right, man. We'll see you next time, huh? See you all next time. All right. Good night. Good night, Nuzio. Good night.